Man, lost an icon yesterday, Richard Roundtree. Died at 81, had a short bout with uh, pancreatic cancer. October the 24th, 2023, he left this earth. This man is a black icon. Growing up, this dude was my hero. I had his posters on my wall. Uh, those who know, come on, one word describes everything, Shaft. Yeah, this was Shaft. Um, he made two subsequent sequels, uh, Shaft's Big Score, uh, and then uh, Shaft in Africa. Should we name it? Uh, Shaft in Africa sleeping with white women, but <laughs> I digress. That was a thing in the early 70s to see these black figures on the big screen uh, sharing time with white women. That was unheard of. It was a taboo. And to have it done on screen, Richard Roundtree is one of the best to ever do it. He didn't care who you were because Richard Roundtree, this man had stature. He was a big, tall... The, the, the term tall, dark, and handsome refers to this man. He had an incredible voice. He was smooth. And when he talked, panties dropped. That's what Shaft did. If he wasn't shooting people and beating them up, kicking them in their ass, he was taking uh, women's panties off with his, uh, with his smooth uh, vernacular. <laughs> but man, oh my God, this guy made a lot of movies Shaft was his biggest because he was the star of those three movies. Uh, he's been in uh, other movies. He wasn't the star, co-star. Uh, some black exportation films, uh, Firehouse, uh, Crack House. Uh, one of my favorites, it was the Avengers of the old school black exportation movie. You had Jim Kelly, Richard Roundtree, Fred Williamson, and uh, Jim Brown in um, One Down, Two to Go. The way I say it like that, because if you watch the trailer for this old 1970s joint, it might be, might have been 80s, I'm not sure. Uh, trailers back then had a guy voicing over the action, and the guy would go, starring Fred Williamson, <laughs> Jim Kelly, Richard Roundtree, and Jim Brown in one down, two to go. Yeah, hilarious. Hey, that movie is free on YouTube. You are welcome. But... When black sportations took off, Shaft and a few other movies were veered as the better of the black sportation movies and made a lot of money at the box office and changed people's careers. And he went on to do a lot of other movies that you probably don't know about or haven't seen, but there's a few big blockbusters he was in. Uh, my favorite David Fincher movie of all time is Seven. And he was in that movie. Yeah, Police Chief. Um, you also had um, one of my favorite uh, Wachowski movies. No, it, it wasn't um, The Matrix. Speed Racer. Yeah. Richard Roundtree is in that movie. He's a retired race car driver in that movie who kind of helps Speed Racer to uh, get his head straight and see what's really going on and don't be corrupted by the, you know, the other racers. But... Richard Roundtree was uh, beloved in the black neighborhood. He was veered as one of the greatest of all time, man. You know, people had their John Waynes and stuff. No, we had, there was two black men in the 70s that were the man. Billy D. Williams, Richard Roundtree. I remember Shaft Beyond in the living room. My mom and her sisters, my aunties been there watching Shaft and they're giggling and, you know, sipping on some scissor up, going, mm girl that man fine big tall dark and handsome and ooh, my daddy walked, what y'all talking about huh <laughs> everybody loved this man he was smooth and then in the late 80s you got denzel washington to carry the mantle we always had a generation where strong black actors who everybody pretty much looked up to because we didn't have a whole lot back then we only had a, a handful of people we could look up to called icons and heroes. And he was one of the first. Love, love Richard Roundtree. Um, good dude. 
And um, even when they made sequels to Shaft with Samuel L. Jackson, he's in those movies too, man. Played his uncle, I believe, and he was his nephew. And um, you know, even just recently see a picture of him, the man looked good. At 81, his skin was still tight. He had the whole white beard going on and he looked good, man. You know, you know, black don't crack. You know, black people, we age very gracefully. You know, for us, 50 is like 30. 80 is like, you know, 55. And sometimes stuff like a disease like cancer takes people away way too soon. And a couple of my peers, um, they know the importance of this man and what he meant to the black community. Myself, you got my man Cyrus, you got my man Q Reviews, AKA uh, Jaquint, if you don't know his real name, and my man Rashad, Rashad G. Brothers like us, this man meant a lot. We talked about him on our channels and he's, uh, will be sorely missed, but will live forever in cinema history because, whoo, and then not to mention the, the soundtrack of Shaft, Isaac Hayes, you know, in the early 70s, Black Pride was to me at his best. Afros, uh, how we talk to each other, you know, my sister, my, my Nubian queen, my brother, my tall, handsome prince, king, you know, that essence is kind of lost in nowadays, but hopefully we get back to that. I think uh, social media, all this clowning around, doing all this foolishness makes us all look bad. Need to get back to what we used to do, man. I, I miss those days. But Richard Roundtree, a Hollywood icon. And uh, if you don't know, now you know. I'm out. Peace. You know the routine. Fade to black.